So in, in our start pro, like in my in my previous class, I've already told you, I'll show you the easiest way to model. I'll just use copy paste for my model. Activate node uh, node cursor. Node cursor. Copy this. So let me get my internal depth first. See is what internal width internal depth is 1.1 meter. So copy this. I'll put 1.1 in y direction, positive y direction. So the length of my my drain, let me make it six meters. You can choose it depends on the on the width if, if your covert is along the road or within the road. Of course, it should be should be an adequate enough to cover the road in you know, the road width. So your road width governs the length of your of your cover. So for here, I'm going to use six meters. So if your road is eight meters, of course your uh, your cover should be at least eight meters. Should be, shouldn't be shorter than the road that shouldn't. So I'm just using six meters here for an example. So it is going x direction. I put six meters here. Yeah. Then I will uh, go back towards the internal internal width is one point five. So I'll, I'll I will select this and this. Control C, Control V in Z direction one point five. Yeah. Then this one shows it 1.1, just like you know, that's the depth. Control C, Control V, uh, in the Y direction, 1.1. That's good. So with this, we are, we are done. Just we split yeah, geometry, add plate, we split to add plate to where we need to add. Yeah. Now, you have to be careful so that you don't uh, mistakenly have place to or join the two uh, non collinear nodes. Then, now add my top. It. Yeah, that's wonderful. And uh, quickly, do go to properties. Click on thickness. We can still go to our sizing. We have a top slab thickness is 0.25. Bottom slab thickness is 0.2. We have side walls 0 0.2, so we have 0 0.25 and 0 0.22. We have 0 0.25. Take note of the units meter 0 0.25 and 0. I'll add, then click again 0 0.2. I'll add that. Okay. The top slab is 0 0.25. I'll sign, I'll sign that one to the top slab. Assign to selected plate. Yeah. While the rest is go down the control key, the two side walls and the bottom slab is 0. Point, sorry for that. 0 0.2. I'll sign. That's good. Let's quickly view 3D to see what we have achieved. That's that's that. This is our cover model. Yes. Then we do plate meshing. Plate meshing. We we'll have to select as the plate so it's one you can simply press Ctrl A. Then you go to generate mesh. Plate mesh and division. You can 
raise it to 12 or you leave it at 10 and you want say okay let's pick quadrilateral that is good yeah we have meshed our plate so we go to support condition so before the support condition i will take you to the report i've already produced the reports for this which i will be giving out uh, yes i'll give it out to, to you yeah if you look at this support okay i will still show what it is but let me quickly finish the model aspect in computer model so okay so, so for support condition the boss cover support was modeled as a plate smart yeah um yes bring support of no stiffness have been used to model the supporting soil system the spring constant ks used is computed according to foundation analysis and design fifth edition version 9.9 .9 by joseph e balls ks is equal to 40 times your soil bearing capacity is very important the reason why i colored this yellow is to tell you that you're not supposed to copy this figure you have to get your own figure from the soil test from the geotechnical report that, will, that, is, that is being given to you for your own project every site location have a different soil bearing capacity some are better than this some are worse than this so you need to get your own figure so with your figure you multiply by 40 then you get this you get this this big constant so we are going to create our support condition using this figure so let's confirm that figure there you have a you have 305.09 multiplied by 40 is this 1230 12 203.6 so we'll be we'll be using this figure in our start input to so go back to start go to support you have to create support is going to be the foundation yeah foundation under foundation is going to be elastic mat the note of that then you put in that modules here yeah? control b yeah that's that in y direction direction is y now subgrade modules this is we can as well calculate this using a star pro foundation I will, I will show you that later then you add okay this is it then i will assign it to my support click here select all my all the load on the and i'll click on assign to selected load This is my my support condition successfully assigned. 